Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and today we're going to take a look at what SAS or um, SCSS is, okay? So um, there is, uh, SAS is um, a CSS pre-processing um, language and what I mean by that is it's a language that's uh, very similar to um, CSS, I'd say about 80 to 90 percent similar but it has some features that um, CSS does not currently support. So you run it through a compiler, um, so it converts SAS into CSS so that your browser can run it, okay? So let's have a look at some of the features that SAS have, and uh, this is the official website, saslang.com. So I'm looking at the guides right now here, and um, right now um, you can compile it using things like Gulp or Grunt or um, Webpack. So those are some of the things that um, I will be covering on this um, channel. So I probably have uploaded a uh, Gulp um, tutorial series on um, how to compile SAS and a whole bunch of other stuff into CSS okay so have a look at that um, so if we have a look at the right side here of the website it says variables so these are the things that SAS has CSS does not have variables and what I mean by that is if you're setting um, the same color in different sites um, parts of your website so you can have a variable um, like this can uh, declare uh, for example primary color and give it the value uh, hash 333 three, three. you can just use that anywhere you want to apply that color so in case you want to change that color you just change it in one place as opposed to many places so if you've written CSS you know that repetition is kind of a big issue okay so that's one thing that programming languages have SAS tends to introduce some of these concepts of a programming language but it's uh, not really a programming language but um, yeah so one thing as well that SAS has is nesting. So if you're fitting CSS and you wanted to um, target multiple elements within another element, you'd have to write nav and then write ul. But SAS lets you nicely um, abstract your um, code like this. So you can um, nest one code into another. So you can have nav and then ul like this and then li inside here. So now when you um, compile that, um, that will come out as plain CSS, okay? So um, I'll do a series on um, SAS and, and show you how to actually use it. Um, but I just want to introduce you so because you may be seeing SAS around the web and be wondering what it is. So one thing as well, partials um, that CSS does not allow you to do natively is if you've written PHP, you know that you can do require once or requ um, include once and um, include one file into another. So SAS also lets you do that. Let's say you have a uh, main dot um, SAS and you want to include header and you want to include body and you want to include footer so you can have all those stylings in different files and you can um, include those using the import statement okay as we've done here right now this is a, a CSS a SAS file so base.scss and there is another one called resets right here so if you want to import this whole resets into um, this base.scss all you have to do is add import and then give it the name of that um, partial that you want to import. So right now here, this is all we have in the code and it's nice and clean and um, very precise. And one thing as well is uh, mixins. So basically mixins are sort of like functions that you can use to call inside your um, uh, SAS and then it will sort of add um, like styling for a bunch of stuff. So let's say um, you have a bunch of styling that's um, added for radius. Okay, so different browsers initially when border radius came out they didn't support the just a regular border radius syntax here. So you had to write ms border radius and then uh, ms border radius and then webkit border radius, moz and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so you can abstract all this in some sort of function. So you can say at mixing border radius. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to apply the border radius to um, one element, for example, box. All you have to do is add include and then you call the function name border radius and then you pass it what you want the border radius to be. And it's going to apply all these and uh, substitute that 10 pixels in the case of uh, radius here, radius and radius. And you can use this for multiple elements. And, um, that makes your code very clean and very easy to maintain as opposed to you having to always copy and paste this everywhere. So when you compile this code, it's going to bring out the required um, CSS. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so that's a brief overview of what SAS is and what SAS can do. And um, there are plugins for SAS um, that you can use. Um, 
There's many of them around the internet that can add more features to SaaS, but at the base, this is what SaaS is. Um, so just to recap, SaaS is a high level uh, version of CSS. Um, it's very close to CSS, but it's not um, exactly the same syntax. Um, you write um, CSS, so CSS is valid SaaS. So you can just write regular CSS in your SaaS and it will still work. But um, SaaS has its extra special features that are not part of CSS, okay? So um so yeah so that brings us to the end of this video and um as usual if you like these videos and you want more of them subscribe to my channel as there'll be more coming on the way and I thank you for watching I will see you soon cheers bye bye